For the sake of being intentionally redundant, I'm going to demonstrate the connection process again as we go into configuration. So let's start off by powering up Dexy, which I've already done. You'll see here the Dexy network is broadcasting. I'll go ahead and connect. It will remember my settings because of the previous connection. And then what I'll do is I'll click on the QGround control icon, application settings, com links. This is our build configuration from the previous video. Once again, the IP address of Dexy. I'll go back and click connect. We are automatically taken to the vehicle setup summary screen. And the first thing that we'll do is set up the airframe. Your Dexy will come with the necessary firmware installed. We'll talk in the future about updating a PX4, but I'm going to go down to airframe and I want to uh, demonstrate what's going to happen here. And before we select airframe, I want you to be able to see the airframe configuration in the PX4 source code. And when we select the airframe, a bunch of default parameters are already configured for us. These are related to our battery and our motor offsets, as well as our arc flow setup. We get all of this configured for us when we select the airframe. So I'm gonna go down to our quad rotor X configuration. That's what Dexy is. It's an X copter with four rotors. Then we can go in here and select drone blocks Dexy 5. I'll go up and click apply and restart. We need to make sure that those uh, settings are persisted. It says it requires a vehicle reboot. So PX4 will reboot. We'll go into our setup one more time, select our com link, click connect. Looking at our summary screen, our DEXC5 airframe is selected. And I'll do one more sanity check just to make sure that our parameters were stored. This isn't something you'll likely need to do, but I'll go ahead and demonstrate. So I'll take that BAT1 capacity. You can see here we have four amp hours or 4,000 milliamp hours. So that was persisted. So our airframe has now been set up. In the next video, we're going to move on to our sensor configuration.